the word large language models. They're basically AI models to predict the next word, but they're fairly large neural networks. Um, hundreds of billions of parameters are tuned in these networks to make them do what they do. And what's also interesting about these large language models is that they've all been trained using a relatively new neural network architecture called transformers. Um, what makes them really interesting is not that the fact that they can predict the next word. What makes them really interesting is what's called emergent properties that these networks show. So what happened was that as these models got bigger and bigger and bigger, all of a sudden, they started showing properties that no one actually designed them for or planned for. They just emerge out of the sides, kind of similar to when you watch an ant, one ant or two ant or four ant on a table are not doing anything interesting. But once you have a few thousand ants, all of a sudden there's a very interesting ant colony and you see division of labor and different patterns of work and different lines that they follow and all kinds of emerging properties you can see in this ant colony. And there's a similar thing going on with the neural networks that when you grow them to a size beyond, let's say, 10 to 100 billion parameters, they start showing properties of reasoning and things like that, which is what has made them so interesting and which is why everyone is so excited. The last bit about large language models is that they existed for a while, but their output was not that interesting and sometimes quite offensive. And what some of the researchers at OpenAI did was that they fine-tuned these models to align it with a good experience that someone can have as a chatbot. And this made them a lot more usable. So this is what is a large language model that we've all been talking about for the last few months. When you talk about ChatGPT or GPT-4, this is what it is.